We might keep on the whole sporting theme now when it comes to the Olympics. Australia is renowned for punching above its weight. Ironically, though, our boxers are not. But one young man plans to change all that. And as Breakfast reporter Jonathan Lee found out, size isn't necessary, necessarily the measure of talent. For all the attention, boxers live in the shadows. It's there they surrender self-doubt, find confidence in their courage. One young Aussie boxer has been doing just that as he prepares to not only step into the limelight, but the spotlight of a nation. Little Billy Ward is a thumping homegrown talent. Straight right. He's got a good ticker, he always has a, ever since he first walked into the gym. I couldn't believe if 13 year old kid walked into the gym and he had muscle on top of muscle. The pugilist from the industrial town of Gladstone in North Queensland looks like a cross between Willie Mason in there with Mason. and Annie. Tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow. But tomorrow for Billy is all about London. I actually got stopped in my first fight. I got out, out boxed. I think it was something like 24 to 15 or something in points. But after that, I've never looked back. Now, Paul, well, I'm living the dream, going to the Olympics. Don't expect trash talk. He's a quietly spoken gymnast who outgrew his coaches and wound up in the ring. You don't have to worry about him fighting on the street or anything because he's, he's just a round nice kid. He's a, he's a farm boy. In three years, our smallest boxer has won 27 fights, including the Australian title. At the Oceania titles, the 18-year-old farm boy proved his worth coming from behind to secure Olympic selection. There's the red corner, Billy Ward representing Australia. Curly hair, big smile, what do they call you? Uh, it used to be Cracker. He'd be like seven points to one up and I'd say, Bill, you're two down. And he'd look at me and say, and he'd go out and he'd throw 3,000 punches the next round and he'd come back in and I said, you're just one up now, mate. And he'd be <laughs> like 14 points up and Billy would just go off like a Cracker on the 4th of July. It's a nickname well earned. Get in. <laughs> Size aside, McDaly knows gold is a tall order. The overseas countries, the Asian countries, the Cubans and that, their life is fighting. Our kids don't make it in box and they come home and come home and they go to work, their girlfriends, their houses, their jobs, whatever. It's a big achievement for me and for anyone that's going to the games. And it's going to be an amazing experience and a learning curve for me. You're pretty proud of him. You've watched him grow up. I've watched him grow up. It, you know, it, it's nothing better than being a boxing coach. You, you watch him develop as an athlete yeah. and you watch him develop as a person. Yeah. And, uh, and when they make it in the boxing ring, and most of the time they make it in life. That is a great yarn. Yeah, that is a great good luck yarn. To him. This book.